Um, yeah, I mean, it was a very good college baseball game we came up short on. Um, I thought it was, uh, you know, uh, Coleman, the left-hander from LSU, really gutty performance, really gutty performance. I thought LSU really pitched the ball very well um, and got just enough uh, to win. It really did with the tying run at the plate at the end of the ball game. It was, um, it was a really good college baseball game, and it was one that you love to win and hate to lose. All right, open up for questions. Let's start with James Crepia from the Oregonian. Was how much were you prepping for Coleman specifically? And while well, you touch on his performance, not too many guys, if any, have managed to hold your big three, uh, Jovan Zavala, Matthews, to one for 11 with six strikeouts. How was he able to keep those three in particular in such check tonight? Well, I mean, he was a three pitch mix up to 94 miles an hour with a breaking ball and a change up for a strike whenever he wanted to. So it was a Friday night type of a performance out of a young man, I mean, you really do tip your, your cap to him. He did an outstanding job. Um, and anybody who's showing that, that's what you see on TV when you're watching Major League Baseball. And often you don't even see that good because you don't see command of three pitches with that kind of velocity and uh, from the left side. He was tremendous. He did a great job. And all the credit goes to him. Julian Minnesota, KZI. Well, as you, you talked about how the lack of a postseason experience on this team and you guys just kind of learning as you go. So what's what's the lesson tonight? Oh, I don't know that there is a postseason lesson tonight. I mean, other than the fact that they just won a college baseball game that was really, really good. And uh, the tying runs at the plate, in the ninth inning for the people of Eugene to see that type of a ball game. I think it's awesome. I mean, that was an exciting ball game. That was uh, people going nuts watching two really good college baseball teams compete and get after it. Uh, I don't know that there's a lesson involved with it. I think the lesson may be that uh, it's better to win than lose. Rob Mosley, GoDucks.com. Do you want to offer any update on Scanlon at this point? Uh, no, I don't I don't know anything about Scanlon. We'll assess the situation um, and, you know, see, see where we're at after uh, we look at him. James Crapia. It's going to get overlooked slightly, but Brett had a pretty damn good performance. Was in grand scheme of things, gives up basically two mistake pitches and the triple that turns into an inside the parker, and otherwise did a really formidable performance. Your thoughts on your starter tonight? Yeah, I thought the ball was coming out of his hand as well as it did all year long. Uh, I thought he pitched very, very well. LSU is a good team. You don't get into a regional final game if you're not a good team. And they're a good team. They got some physical kids. And there was a couple of pitches that got away from Brett. And they, they hit him. You know, if they pop up or something like that, uh, you know, uh, that, that didn't happen tonight. They got him. And uh, they deserved it. And they earned the win tonight. Rob Mosley. How do you feel about your pitching heading into tomorrow and the bullets you have left in the, in the chamber that way? I think we, I think we've got. Uh, I like our pitching. Uh, I've liked it all year. I think Coach Angiers developed our pitching very well, and I look to see him uh, throw the ball exceptionally well tomorrow. Uh, won't announce the starter until tomorrow. Luis Ramirez, Statesman Journal. Hey, Coach, how are you going to keep your guys loose and mentally prepared for the game uh, tomorrow? Well, I don't think they need any help getting mentally prepared. Those guys were all over the game today. They were excited. Uh, you know. You, the, the last thing I would do is is uh, downplay the per pitching performance that we just saw uh, out of LSU. You know, they had the uh, Fontenot kid at the end of the ball game and Coleman. Both those guys are sitting at 93, 94 miles an hour, if not better, with secondary stuff. And uh, it was competitive all the way through. They, there's no lack of focus going on here with this team. That's for sure. That would actually be insulting to even think that that was happening. Uh, we got beat tonight. Uh, LSU played a really, really good game. And... Um, the great news is, is you're talking about a storied program in LSU and the Ducks are hanging right there with them. And uh, to be honest with you, we're one hit away from tying that ball game right there at the end of the game. So um, uh, we're, we're not after this thing for a participation trophy. We're after this thing to win this thing. And um, we're not just happy to be in a regional final game. We're going to come out and give it our best shot to win this super, uh, this regional to go to a super tomorrow. James Crepia. Respect that you won't name the starter until tomorrow was, but in terms of the postseason roster, are Fuller and Mercado both on it? 
And is it possible for Kafka, given that he had his shortest performance of the season, could he come back even whether it's to start, whether it's two or three innings, whatever the case, can he come back tomorrow night? Yeah, everybody's available and everybody will be on the table. All right. Thanks, Coach. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thanks for your support. All right, we'll get LSU in here shortly. We'll have head coach Paul Maneri.